Jalen, how, how do you kind of explain the way the season ended? You know, six losses in seven games and everything. Just kind of looked wrong. How do you put your finger on it? Yeah, I don't think, um, you know, I think for us this year, I just don't think we've played well enough. Um, we play well enough, you know, and um, the 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 identity, um, the consistency, um, the execution for us, um, the turnovers, um, everything, all of those come into play when you're talking about um, having an opportunity to to win championships, and um, you know, it's something that uh, some we have to be able to learn from, you know, that some we have to be able to learn from. <clears throat> There was an ESPN report that you weren't happy with the identity of the offense over the last few months of the season. Uh, can you uh, confirm that and give a little more explanation as to why that is? I think just uh, where we are um, as a team. You know, we've um, we've had um, you know a ton of opportunities to do great things, and we haven't taken advantage of them. You know, and I've talked about the, the ownership of of that, and me taking ownership for the things that I can control and. And challenging everyone to take ownership for the things that they can't control. Um, and for us to put the output that we want on the field, uh, obviously have the results that we want and have the opportunities we want, um, it takes consistency in that. Um, there's no point to identity, um, no more than execution. Um, the reality is we have to um, we have to be better, you know, and that starts with me. And so, you know. On the safety, what happened to that play? Um, I mean, got held up in the pocket. Um, got held up in the pocket, was trying to make a play outside the pocket and um, make a throw down the field and move the chains. Um, and ended up, ended up getting it up late. I guess I, I didn't pass the line of scrimmage, so it was a safety. I have to watch the film to see what actually happened. What ways did the finger impact your performance? I don't, I don't, you know, I, I told you guys there was something coming into it. Um, there's no excuse for um, the inability to do, um, not to do what we wanted to do out there on the field and the consistency we wanted. Um, so was it was it an issue? Yeah, I said that long ago. Um, you know, but obviously um, it's just about the results, you know, and um, we didn't get the results we want. But, you know, when you look at the result and say, you know what it is. It's about really the process and the process and what you go about it. And so, um, you know, that's just a huge self-reflection in that for everyone. You know, and it's just a huge self-reflection in that for everyone. Offense, a lot of a lot of players. You've been through a lot of different things, career, college, pros. How would you describe what you went through this year, personally and as a team? Um. It's definitely been a journey, you know, and every, every year has been uh, has presented different joys and different challenges, and I feel like I've been able to use those things to to better me myself and better me to be, better the people around me. And so, um, you know, there's been a lot of ups, there's been a lot of downs, there's been a lot of challenges, there's been a lot of joys um, this year. There's been a lot of great moments, um, and all of those moments, just using them to to better yourself um, as an individual first and foremost, and then. How can you help your team? How can you help the man next to you? And so, um, you know, as things change and as things evolve, it's about, you know, the, the thing that you can control and, and, and investing yourself into the team and doing what you, you know, need to do to, to help the team. And so um, and I'm, very, I'm very appreciative of this group. I'm very appreciative of everything that we've been through and fought through, um, the games that we came back from. Um, you know, obviously we took a turn there this year and, you know, things didn't end the way we wanted, but um, it's simply not our turn. It's not our turn. We got a taste of it last year, um, you know, winning the conference championship and having an opportunity to play in the Super Bowl, and um, it wasn't our turn then, right? And we had the year ago, um, had this year go the way it went this year. Um, you know, talked about the standard a lot, talked about doing those things, but the standard changes from year to year because it's a whole different team. You know, and that's one thing that I, I've learned, and that's one thing that um, that's one thing that um, that's one thing that I um, will continue to mature on and continue to learn. Um, you, you learn different things, um, but but I think that's the reality of it. You know, and you know, I think different years require different versions of a person, and um, I'll just continue to learn 
to to be the the best leader I can be for this team and for this organization. But um, you know, a ton a ton to learn from, a ton to learn from, and that's um challenging the old heads to to the young guys and the guys that'll come at some point here. Um, learn from it, learn from it, and then reach one, teach one, and um, you know, have having have an opportunity to do it again, you know have an opportunity to do again. I, I told those guys in there, I, as crazy as it is, I mean, um, you, you have to be able to u- use it for your for your advantage and, and find a, a positive out of this negative, turn that negative into a positive somehow. And, you know, for whatever reason, the last time we were here, you know, the very next opportunity, the very next year we had, we had a pretty dang year, a pretty dang good year, next successful, successful uh, year. Um, didn't finish the way we wanted, but, you know, just, just, just got to learn from it all. Yeah, you had a lot of balls in the locker room after the game. What, Jason Kelsey got a little emotional. Um, what would it mean to have him back next year? And what has he meant, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, he's um, he's a legend in the city. You know, he is um, really in the league. Um, I don't want to just do a disservice to him and the things that he's been able to do and overcome. You know, his journey to where he is now. Didn't come easy. It's been a long, long time coming for him, and, and every year since I've been in, <laughs> since I've been here, it's been we're going to come back, you know. Um, but he knows he knows how much I love and appreciate him. He knows how much I've learned from him, and um, you know he'll forever have a special place in my heart. You heard a lot of offensive players have talked about the small things offensively that y'all tried to fix throughout the year. Devontae was talking about how that first thirty-two that him and Dallas misread. Signals they saw one thing, didn't see the second. Through the things that you've worked out through this year, what things can you point to that you can fix those small things in an off season that a regular season couldn't have done? Yeah, just take time on task. Time on task. Um, <clears throat> you know, in this league, you have to you have to be able to find ways to win in a ton of different ways. Um, and I feel like for a time there, we were doing that, and we were doing it at a high level. Um, we were winning a lot of games, and we weren't playing to uh, the level we thought we should be playing to. And then um, kind of got in a hole um, in the back end and um, really couldn't pick ourselves out of it. Um, so I think um, a time of self-reflection in the off season for sure, diving deep into that with the guys and um, just reassessing everything and, and growing from it. Like I said, the, the number one thing, my number one message is, is just to use every moment as an opportunity to learn and grow. Um, and, you know, it may not show now, but it'll show, you know. And as I said, it wasn't our turn. It's, it's not our turn. Um, we've had the opportunities. We've had the crumbs. Um, we've had everything um, to our disposal. Um, but it wasn't our turn. And um, I, can, I, I can accept that, and I think we can accept that, um, knowing that there's, there, the sun will rise tomorrow and there will be another opportunity to, um, to attack it. You know, it's going to be tough watching and um, not, not you know, this is just all over. But um, we'll learn from it. I know I'll learn from it. And I'll, um, I'll, I'll give it my all and do my best in, in, in all of that. Do you want Nick back? Do you want Nick back? I didn't know he was going anywhere. I don't I didn't, I didn't know that. Nah. Where's the confidence level in him then to, to fix this team? I have everybody. I have a ton of confidence in um in everyone in this building. Um, it's just a matter of us going out there and playing clean football. And that's been something that we have not done, you know. And so, Devonte said that um, one of the reasons you couldn't run the ball as much as you wanted to is because they kept sending blitzes. You can't run against a blitz, and the, it was there to be beat. It was just you know. A, a missed play here, a missed assignment there. You, as a team, and you personally have struggled against the Blitz a lot in the last few weeks. How does that get fixed? How, how, do, you, how do you make them pay? Um, you say execution. Um, you know, knowing your assignment and doing your assignment. Um, I think a couple times it just got us. You know, and... Um, that's something that we all have to learn from and, and move forward from um, and be better at that, you know.